and we're going to stay in India. That country has administered its billionth COVID-19 vaccine dose six months after a surge in cases brought its health system close to collapse. About three quarters of adults have now had one shot and around 30 percent are fully vaccinated. However, hundreds of millions of Indians under 18 who make up some 40 percent of the population have not yet been vaccinated. And I'd like to now welcome uh, Gautam Menon, a professor of biophysics at India's uh, Ashoka University. Professor, a very warm welcome to DW News. One billion shots. I mean, that is truly a milestone. But when less than one third of India's uh, population is fully vaccinated, is this really a cause for celebration? Well, it's a milestone. And certainly a few months ago, it didn't seem as though we might reach there when vaccination rates were flagging. But I think it's important to note that at least 75% of the adult population of India has some level of protection, either being through being fully vaccinated or partially vaccinated. And that's at least a step forward, and it should help to slow any potential third wave that might be waiting for us. We have to worry now about the 25% which have not been vaccinated yet and how to ensure that they're vaccinated fast over the coming weeks. Professor, can you tell us and fill us in about how the pandemic is evolving in India? Right now, numbers are very small. They're certainly very small across much of the north of India. There's still, there, uh, there is one southern state in particular, the state of Kerala, where numbers have been reducing after staying fairly steady at about 20,000 to 30,000 cases for quite, quite a while. Now it's dipped well below that. So it looks as though the pandemic is on its way out, at least for the time being, in India, because the caseload has significantly reduced and the test positivity is really low at the moment. And what are the, the biggest challenges right now that India faces when it comes to tackling the pandemic? We'll have to see in a few weeks, because right now, this is festival season in India. There are the big festivals unfolding at the moment, whether people will let down their caution at this period and that, whether that might lead to a rise in cases and potentially initiate another wave that could be large is something that still we don't know. So we will know this in the weeks to come, whether the extended mixing that we will see in this period might have longer term consequences. And is there also a difference between how uh, the pandemic has evolved in, in rural areas and in urban areas? In, in the second wave, which was really the devastating wave that crossed much of India, the distinction between urban and rural was pretty much wiped out. And rural India saw a lot of deaths, unrecorded deaths at that point. So I think now there isn't too much of a difference between urban and rural parts of India as far as infections, prior infections go. And that certainly is a difference from what happened in the first wave, which really hit the cities much more than it did the villages. And Professor, some final thoughts from you. Uh, what's your assessment of the Indian government's handling of the pandemic so far? The handling has been good in recent weeks and months, I'd say, because we have now ramped up vaccination rates to above somewhere between 10 to 20 million per day, which is pretty good. Right now it's a little low, but that's the number that we sustained from about two weeks ago and before that. The handling of the second wave of the pandemic left much to be desired. That was a place where really cases exploded across the country and the health system pretty much gave up at that point. So I think I hope lessons from that have now been learned, lessons that are really about strengthening the public health system overall in India. And I hope that that's one lesson that we take forward into the future. Professor Gautam Menon of India's Ashoka University. Sir, thank you for your time. Thank you.